honest with you, so call me a cat. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today is day three of the Wine Advent Calendar, where we will be tasting a different wine every day leading up to Christmas. But no matter how you celebrate the holidays, please join me in tasting 24 wines in 24 days. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Let's get started. Okay, wine number three. All right, shark bite, wine of South Africa. Oh, it's from the Western Cape. It's 60% Sauvignon and 40% Chardonnay. So I'm gonna go ahead and chill this and then we'll get back to it and taste it in a little bit. This is the shark bite, wine of South Africa. I really don't know my African territories very much and especially where they have wine, but I have had good luck in the past in liking South African wines and this is South African. The first wine I really truly loved, 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 off the charts loved was a South African cab called Porcupine Ridge. Haven't been able to find it again, but I've learned a lot over the years that sometimes wines from different regions are hard to come by. There's all sorts of weird shipping rules and laws. I never found that one again, but I recently have tried a couple different ones. There was another one called Comey that I really enjoyed. We'll see how this one stacks up. It's nice to have a region that you know you're gonna like. Mmm, it's got, uh, what does that smell? It smells like products. It doesn't smell like food. It smells like, uh, <laughs> like I'm in a store that sells desks. Desk products? <laughs> yep. I thought you meant like cleaning products. No, it smells like staples. What? I'm telling you what I smell. I'm calling it like I see it. I did no research on this. My research was reading the back of the label just now. It's new smells for sure. I have not smelled these smells in a wine before. The alcohol smell isn't through the roof and a lot of times with white wines I feel that like in your face alcohol smell. That's not what I'm smelling. I'm smelling like notepads and staplers. I have to tell you smelling an office supply store in my wine isn't going to make me not drink it because you know me. <laughs> my wine smells like Xbox. You would not drink an Xbox wine. You totally would. You'd be I like would. I love it. It smells like video games. You're not selling this wine to me right now. Okay some some hint of a berry kind of thing. Like a, oh, no, no, wait, let me change that. Oh, peach. Peachy, a little light peach, like a peach was sitting on your desk. <laughs> Four days. Okay, I'm just gonna taste it. It actually smells fine. I don't mind an office supply store, so here we go. It's okay, it's all right. Does it taste like PVC pipe? Nope, nope, it tastes like lemon squeezed onto like a piece of fish. Gross. I mean, it doesn't taste like fish, but whatever that, you know when you, when you season a fish perfectly with lemon and herbs, maybe like dill? Let's say lemon and dill. Actually, here's what I'm gonna pair it with. I'm gonna do goat cheese. And I did not bring a little knife to my, to my party, so I'm just gonna dig in like, like so. Okay, I love goat cheese, so I know this part's gonna go well. Although these crackers, hmm. So there's some herbs in there that are more like oregano and stuff, but I did taste like an herbaceousness to the wine, like maybe a dill kind of thing. So let's see what it does. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay, wait, let me do this again. It's got, oh my God, it's almost like it's got a cinnamon honey thing going on. That tastes great. Mm. That's a great pairing. I'm gonna try it with something else just to see what something totally opposite does, like a grape. That goat cheese was so good with that. Let's try grape, see what the grape does. Grape tastes like a grape. A little bit fruity, <laughs> a little bit sweet. Okay, I gotta say the grape didn't make it terrible, but it definitely changed it. It brought out like a, a tanginess to it, which if that's what you're into, then I would go with the grape, but I like that it made it taste like cinnamony honey. <laughs> So I would keep doing this with the goat cheese. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, you know what? I'm also gonna try the fig. Let's see what fig does. Fig is more sweet than a grape. I think maybe I just really want the fig jam. I went on the website and it says pairings, ceviche, steamed clams, fried shrimp. Ceviche would be amazing with this because yeah. it's got a little bit of that like lemony, limey something already in it. And it says the primary flavors are ruby grapefruit, apple, and lemon. 
Ruby grapefruit. Okay, see that's a thing. I don't know what that is. Apple and lemon and for sure lemon. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the fig and see what happens. I'm worried I'm gonna make it go tart overboard. Fig jam is so good. Oh, so good. Let's see what it does. Nope, don't do it with fig jam. Nope, nope. That made it taste like salt water. I'm going back to the goat cheese. Seafood, for sure. Goat cheese, for sure. Still a success. I think it's a good wine. All right, see you guys tomorrow. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. Smells like teenage angst and rage and, and my mom still living upstairs. <laughs>